So, people clearly say that Emacs is harder than Vim, and I have completed the journey. They're not wrong. Something's off. Emacs looks scarier after all. So, is it twice as hard? Is it five times? Five times as hard. Or is it like... Between as hard and ten times as hard, depending on who you are. It sounds like a sane question to ask, because they don't actually give numbers. They clearly imply that there are numbers, though. So... First off, consider how much... Consider for a moment how hard the software that you're used to is. Because you try to show your mother or grandmother how to use the computer, and they are so confused by the modern standards. Because we are so used to them, and there are there is like a lot of them. X, dragging bars, and notice how how minimal buttons are, or those drop-down menus. Oftentimes they have a very minimalistic design, so we are really used to how they work. They're not simple. With that. Vim and Emacs aren't that complicated to begin with, we're just not used to them. Well, how much more complicated is Emacs compared to Vim? And I can finally answer it. I've been through everything. I've went through VS Code, VS Code with a Vim plugin. Uh, the NeoVim, Linux Mint, Arch Linux, Emacs now. A journey that felt, that felt like it would never end, but actually it ended somehow. So, I can tell you how much harder it is. Turns out, the reason why you would start with Vim and then go to Emacs is not that one is harder than another. Actually, you would want to question that mindset in general. Why do you want to take two things like a sequence just because the first is easier? It kind of makes sense why you would, but... Now, let me explain. I think the reason why you would want to start with Vim is that Vim is inevitable. And not that it's easier. I would say Emacs is much easier. And I mean much easier. If you want to bring Vim to the level of simplicity of Emacs, you would need to study its history and take and take it like seasons of a show. Starting from Med to Vi to Vim to New Vim because the manuals for these things grow exponentially going from one to another, and Ed is awesome. Vi still has a manageable manual, you can read it in a reasonable amount of time, but it removes the benefit of Ed that you can scroll up and down the terminal and see the history. You can't anymore. Then Vim added some... some questionable things. Neo Vim did good stuff, but... If you use Vi, the way you use it is not like you're using a subset of Vim. It's not like you're using a subset of NeoVim at all. So you have to consider how complicated it is in total to use NeoVim. It's like that grandmother that tries to learn computers after so many standards have been stacked on top of one another and people got used to what's a button and then they made minimalistic buttons that look flush with the ground. They don't even look like buttons. They look like... They look like nothing. They look like a shade. So... Yeah. Tough stuff. Tough stuff. Emacs is good, by the way. I do highly recommend it, even if you haven't got into Vim. I'm not sure actually if I would, but... You won't miss using the terminal at all. It has these async shell commands, similar to how Vi has the shell integration that it has, and it kind of loses it when you go to any of him. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, it's okay. Peace.